Gemini, welcome. I hope you're all having an amazing week. This is your full moon lunar eclipse energy reading, which is taking place on the 5th of May at 1.34 um, in the afternoon. And it will be in the sign of Scorpio. Let me make sure I'm right on the date. Yeah, 1.34 in the afternoon. This is how it's going to affect your sign, Gemini. What inspires you on the daily? Due to, due to the potentially rocky nature of this eclipse, it would be best to surrender the pressures and or the need for perfectionism. Shaking up your sixth house of health, due diligence and service while opposing the sun, Uranus and Mercury in retrograde in your 12th house of unconscious patterns and all things behind the scenes. It may be a comfort zone you keep private or subconscious programming that just that justify the value of your daily efforts. But this energy is setting you free. Set out with the old routine and in with the new. Your peace of mind is worth it. So what it is truly saying is for you to step out of your comfort zone where you may feel, you know, like more happier within yourself, solitude, staying by yourself, not really being or accepting invitations or getting out there with friends and family, now is the time to step out of that comfort zone. All right, let's see. What messages need to come out for you? Gemini, always take what resonates and always head over and watch your rising moon and Venus sign ratings for additional clarity. Door, especially during like a full moon or a new moon, you always want to watch your moon sign. If you're, you know, pressed for time and you can't watch all of them, always additionally watch your moon sign um, when it comes to these eclipses or these full moons, new moons, okay? The link to my Etsy shop is down below. It is still in vacation mode. I will be opening it up this weekend coming. But if you head over there, you can at least favorite the shop. And then when I reopen, you'll be notified. Also, I haven't yet... Um, figured out what the May giveaway will be, but if you're new, go ahead and subscribe so you can take part in these monthly giveaways. We have compassion. Compassion, like Spirit is calling you to find compassion within yourself for a situation that you're going to go through during this time. And what else for my Geminis? Maybe compassion between someone specific for those of you that are worried about your career your finances your stability maybe it's step out of your comfort zone something where you've been at that you has been your huge for um years the same place that you go to the five to what is it i'm sorry the nine to five or wherever it it's like stepping out of your comfort zone maybe you want to change your the path that you've been on Maybe you're thinking about opening your own business. Start the planning now. Even if it's changing your path or applying somewhere different. See that rainbow around that tree? You will succeed no matter where you move on to. And there's that courage. For some of you, you may have Leo within your chart. You could be dealing with a Leo sign. Let's see. So finding that strength that invisible force within you to break three from your daily routines. What else? All right. Let's see. Council of Light. Divine orchestration. Helpers in the subtle realms. So you are being divinely guided. During this full moon lunar eclipse. And look at that. Where it's been dark, things are going to come to light. The initiation, rite of passage, crossing the threshold. So for some of you, you're possibly going through an awakening or a dark night of the soul. And there is actually light coming towards you. You're on the right path. You're exactly where you need to be. I really feel like you're ready to take a leap of faith for something brand new.
All right, overall energy, Page of Wands. Page of Wands is a lot like the full type energy, seeing growth within a new beginning and taking a leap of faith. Having a lot of passion towards what you're taking that leap of faith in. Current situation, Five of Swords. So for some of you, you are going through that tough time where you needed to basically to surrender. Whether it be a breakup, whether it be a loss of a job, um, you've been looking for that job or maybe feeling like you're codependent right now, that things just are not working in your favor. And I get it. We're in a total solar eclipse energy until 2025. We're in Mercury in retrograde until the 14th. And now we're in a lunar eclipse energy. I mean, like WTF. So some of you are really feeling the effects of all the shifting of energy and basically needing to surrender to whatever it is that's going to be different for each and every one of you, what you're going through. But you will come out on top. Look, this King of Swords energy, mind over matter. You're moving towards balance in your life and towards what's fair for you. This also could be you going through an ending with an air sign. Past energy. You're letting go of the mental anguish, the fears, the anxieties, and what constantly is in your head, what you think about often. You're getting out of your head and you're ready to take a leap of faith. Look at this. Could be a fire sign coming in very passionately for you, ready to sweep you off your feet. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Coming in, taking fearless action towards you. Could even be a water sign who's taking this leap of faith. Take what resonates within your own chart, but I also feel what's coming towards you, you're going to be very open to. This could be you having compassion with someone that has either done you wrong That is possibly possibly be breaking free from their fears and anxieties to come towards you to bring that balance in and having compassion with them and the situation and what you're embracing. You're doing a lot of soul searching. And like I said, you might find yourself more in hermit mood than out and about. And it's great to be in the hermit mood because that's when sometimes you receive the most accurate messages from your spirit guides and within yourself. But now it's time to break free. See how the light is shining on the, you know, from the outside. Now it's time to get out there. Accept invitations. Get out there and spend time with friends and family. Go visit people that you haven't been in contact with. I really feel like for some of you, a fire sign's coming in. Let's see. What is your overall outcome? For Gemini spirit during this full moon lunar eclipse. Yeah, walk away. Walk away from what no longer is resonating with your life. But I also feel somebody who may have walked away is coming towards you, asking you for that compassion, wanting a passionate new breakthrough with you. But remember, it is divinely guided. So you don't have to fear it. I feel like for, because of the compassion you put out there to the world, to the universe. Because of how you allow yourself to take a leap of faith towards other people and help them in whatever way you can. I feel that's why these blessings are coming your way. Yeah, somebody is coming towards you. Now, what I got to say is, depending on what's... For some of you, you could have two opportunities coming your way in terms of relationship. One very passionate, one very loving. Two people wanting to be with you and you needing to make a decision. 
you may be with one of these signs and the other sign is coming towards you. But I do feel a couple people are interested in you. But you're definitely on the move. You are moving forward from any pain, from any heartbreak. You're surrendering to it. But I feel somebody who caused you emotional pain is also on their way towards you. They may live at a distance from you. And I do feel you may have been closed off to this communication. They might have tried to reach out to you before. You may have tried to reach out to them however it resonates. But I feel like the, the effort was there, but you felt like between stuck between a rock and a hard place. Yeah, there is a reunion that somebody wants here. I gotta tell you, it is divinely guided. There is somebody coming in here with an offer for you. They want to take you out. They want to show you how much they care. For some of you, it's somebody from the past that wants to heal a connection with you. But remember, we have the Wheel of Fortune and Council of Light, so it is divinely guided. Strong fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and we have water energy. But you are moving forward during this lunar eclipse. Anything that may have become like a routine for you, or you may have found like you were in solitude energy, you're breaking free from that. And you're taking one step at, the t at a time. For any of you going through a dark night of the soul, or you've been feeling kind of anxious, kind of depressed, maybe feeling alone, you're coming out of that. You're being divinely guided through that. What else from the Geminis? And yes, the time has come for you to harvest. Reaping the rewards of your labor. Gemini. And it says, no need to worry. You are taking that leap of faith. All right. Let's see. Grasshopper, no need to worry. You're exactly where you need to be and you're proceeding forward on those tracks. It says within one to two weeks or during the fall. Now for some of you, you may not see any, any difference until the fall. Because we have within one to two weeks for some. And then during the fall, and remember fall full moon came out. So take it. If nothing happens significant in one to two weeks, remember the fall is going to bring in something. Depending on where you're at with your cycle, with your journey. But I feel like you're in the process of removing things out of your life that no longer belong there, that may have held you back, that brought in stagnant type energy. And there is an epiphany. The light bulb is going off. Not only where you belong on your journey, but I feel like there is an epiphany within someone on how they feel for you. You will receive that communication from them. Like I said, I have strong fire and water energy. We have D, U, N, A, G, O, V, S, R, J, W, H, L, and the rest are repeats. But remember, the biggest message is what is coming towards you is divinely guided. Remember, these blessings that are coming in, the total solar eclipse lasts us until 2025. The lunar eclipse energy we're in, then we're in a full moon energy. So if things do not happen as soon as you would like them to, or the growth, or the communication, they will happen. It's just depending on how much effort you've put into yourself 
for these blessings to come your way. All of us are at different points in our life. Some of us are ready to receive them now, where others of us may not be ready to receive them until the fall of 2023. All right, Gemini, I am wishing you so much love. Lo love. I am wishing, wishing you so much love and light, but there is a union of some sort coming towards you. And I do feel for some of you, it's going to be a reunion. All right, have a great week ahead.